Here are seven must-know scratch tips that will improve your scratching. Number one is going to be cloning buttons. But just for the example, I'm going to use the two scratch caps. I'm going to do I'm wearing green if I clicked, repeat two times, create clone of myself, and then next costume. I'm going to do hide when I start as a clone. If equals costume number. You can do number or you can do name. So for example, if I do the name, you can see this is called costume one. So I'm going to put down costume one. But just to make it easier, I'm going to do the one right up here. So I'll switch it to number and then one because the costume number is one here at the top left. Then... I'm going to make it go to, just for an example, negative 100. Right click duplicate. And then this one's going to be number two because it's two up here. But then I have to make both show 100. And so now if I show you up here, we have two different cats here. And this could be applied to like a button or something like I did in my game Fruity. Go check out the video after this one. And so the second hack is going to be a size hack. I'm going to grab this size, set size, minus and divide. So I'm going to do size minus, I think around 300 into this divide. And I'm going to do two, drag this all in here. And I'm going to do if else inside of here. I'm going to right click duplicate. I'm going to change this to a little bit lower one, like around 250. And then if touching mouse pointer, I'm also gonna have a forever loop. I'm gonna put that in here, right click duplicate, and put that in there. And so now if I play the scratch project, you can see if I click on them, they'll zoom in. I'll go with a uh, solid 3333. Three, three, three. Now, as you can see, if I zoom in on them, they begin to expand. And so the far left number is how big it is. So if I put it like 500 or 50 in the same over here, then as you can see, if I zoom in, they start to zoom smoothly though. And the number over here, the percent, or it looks like a percent at least, is how smooth it is. So right now it's at three, so it's pretty smooth, as you can see. But if I change it to two like I had it before, it gets more bouncy. And it's really up to preference. And tip number three is you're going to want to grab the timer. Put that into a times 100 into the sins of, which you can find down here. The abs, if you click on it, you can see the sin down here. Click on that and put that into a times two. And then a plus 90 and into a point in direction. So now if I put that in a forever loop up here, you can see he begins to rotate really smoothly. And so the 90 is the point in the direction. 100 is the speed. So if I change it to 400, you can see it goes a lot faster. And two is the amount. So right now it's rotating at two and negative two. If I change it to five, he begins to rotate more. And this is tip number four. If you right click duplicate, grab the set Y, drag all of this into there, change it to zero because that's the position it's going to be located at. Put that in there. You can see he begins to rotate up and down as well or move up and down. And it's pretty chaotic. So I'm going to change it to like a hundred again and 100 and a nice two and two. So now it's a lot more just chill and noticeableness. Just so I don't get triggered, I'm going to put this in the other guy as well. Now here's a stop sign detector. I'm going to do forever. Green fly clicked. Reset timer. Grab when loudness except change it to timer greater than 0 0.01 then just for an example i could play a meow and so now as you can see here when I clicked it, it made the cat sound. So that's a really good hack number five. The next one is infinite size. Now for an example, I'm going to do paint and I'm just going to make a really big rectangle. And now as you can see, let's say I want to size this up to like 300. As you can see, it doesn't do that and it locks to 175. So I'm just going to put it back to 100. But now if you go into here and you do paint and have a blank costume here, let's say I change this to a thousand and I go back here, it's now set to a thousand rather than it locks at 175. You can't really tell. Here, let me make it easier for you. I just paint like a little bit of like dots here and there. You can see how big it is. Yeah, see, that's more like it. And then if I change it to 500, it locks back to 175. But then if I want to scale it up again, I go here, 1000 for an example, and then go back and it's set. And so I hope this helps for tip number six. I'm just going to delete this because it's ugly, but tip number seven is, let's say for example, you have this costume here. It is the Fruit Ninja one. And so right now you can see that there's an ugly white background and it wasn't actually transparent. But a way you can fix that is by changing this into a bitmap and then change this to nil, I guess. And then if you click on it, it'll delete it. And so now as you can see, we have a pretty cool, good looking watermelon. So that's going to conclude today. Like and subscribe for more and I'll see you later.